What up, y'all? Y'all like my Tinkerbell hoodie? All the kids love it. When they see it, they be like, Tinkerbell. And the little boys be like, ooh, Tinkerbell. She pretty. <laughs> and all the little girls want to be like Tinkerbell. I get this, this little hoodie a hit. I think I took it from my little sister, my little big sister. Hey. So, uh, I got an interesting question from a parent today. And I think that teachers might enjoy this answer. So, I was asked today, hey, you know, um, Mika, in your opinion, what what time, like if I get off early for work, what, what time would be the best time to pick up my child from school? I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, right after nap. <laughs> Whatever time, nap time in. You know, let them get their snack. But typically around 4 o'clock. Yeah. At that time, I mean, teachers are starting to... Earlier teachers have already started to leave. If they came in at six, they, they're starting to go home at three. Um, so what's happening is uh, you might have a floater or something in your child classroom. Uh, the even times, a lot of times teachers may use that time to prep as well because the numbers are starting to dwindle down. So they're prepping, um, they're doing lesson plans and all of that stuff so like towards the end of the day it's just for the most part in most centers it's really free play like kids could do whatever they just they at school they chilling you know what i'm saying waiting for y'all to come pick them up it's it because pickup time is at the end of the day we don't teachers usually don't want to get interrupted with any of the lessons they have um, unless it was a lesson that they was not able to finish that morning. And so if they got an early, a child is leaving early or a little later, um, they're trying to knock them out the way so that the next day they could continue with the lesson, with their next lesson. Um, they're not doing nothing after nap time. I tell people all the time, I, ch I check out mentally. <laughs> no, nah, not in that way, but like far as like, we 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 hardcore doing a whole bunch of stuff that's in the morning time that's why it's so important to get your child to school on time it is so important for your child to be there um at least for whatever time the morning snack is and then after that typically teachers are usually starting to do that circle time so just like you got to be at work by a certain time uh it's important for your kids to be there at a certain time. That's why I typically don't care for the centers when when centers want to um, let parents come in anytime. I get it. I'm not saying that it's not okay, but it's reasons to that. Like if you coming in in the daytime, you are you are missing if you're coming in in the daytime and we're starting start, you're interrupting the learning process you guys know kids get distracted easily and it's very frustrating for teachers to you know when we 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 got it and then something happens and now we either have to redirect their attention again or we just gotta be like forget it we do, we'll do it later you know because and teaching with children, you kind of go off their adrenaline. What what type of tone and pace you have? You have to use that um, that that uh, you have to. I'm having a brain freeze right now. You have to be aware, okay, of how the kids are feeling and how they're able to push through and sometimes it's just that type of day like when you don't feel like it they don't they don't feel like it so it's a lot of stuff that teachers have to take into consideration when teaching your child and because their attention span is so short 
we have to grab their attention and make use of it while we have it. And any little thing could throw them off. So I'm not a big fan of people come, being able to bring their kids anytime they want to. I, I understand it. But I'm not a fan of it, okay? Like, you have to be at your job at a certain time. This is the kid's job. This is how they learn. And a lot of times, if they're not there doing that morning time, that is the most critical time for learning. That is when they are doing a lot of learning. And in the afternoon is when they're doing a lot of play. And that's when I get to take, like, me... I do a lot of my observations in the afternoon, you know, while I'm multitasking with doing whatever else it is that I have to do for my class. I'm observing. I'm letting the kids play. I'm checking them out. You know, you observe all the time throughout the day, but this is the time where I'm quiet. I want to see how they're handling disputes and situations. Are they going to come and say, Miss Shay? such and such hit me or they're going to use their words and say hey don't hit me i don't like that you know like it's 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 stuff that i'm trying to figure out towards the end of the day and i'm using that time to observe instead of as engaged in much because i want them to i want i'm trying to find that balance to help them with their uh with their uh problem solving skills so, 4 o'clock, 4.30, those are typically really good times to go pick up your child. And I think that was a really good question um, for that parent who asked me. Uh, and, and when you are off work, okay, I'm going to give y'all this freebie. And this is for my young parents, my young, young, youngins who want to drop their kids off and leave them at daycare from sun up to sundown all day and you're really not doing too much of anything, this is for you. When you have time to spend with your child, spend that time with your child. They will so much appreciate it. Y'all don't understand how much we listen to children talk about their mom and daddy and you know moments where you may do something completely out the blue they crave for that attention and if you have a child that has a behavior issue it's usually because it's from a lack of attention so at any time and this is for all parents now like any time where you have a day off or you have some time where you could spend more time with your child, it's very important to take advantage of that time and doing something with them. You know, I know you guys need your days too. So say, for instance, you off three days. Two of those days take for yourself, but that third day, do something with your child. It's, it's very important. Um, so... That's my freebie. Just wanted to talk to you guys about that. And I hope this brings a different dynamic of understanding for the classroom setting and pick up and drop offs. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.